It has been 50 years since Michigan State's 1965 National Championship football team had such a marvelous season. That's still the best Michigan State team I ever saw play. And the only one I thought that was even close to that was the 66 team. I was a high school student then, but 50 years later, looking at all the teams, and there have been a number of very good teams here, but that 1965 team was amazing. Among them on the team that was an All-American, Eugene Washington, the wide receiver, who was in the College Football Hall of Fame, one of Michigan State's all-time greats. His daughter, Maya, is a filmmaker. She has put together an upcoming documentary, which will be seen next Thursday, through the banks of the Red Cedar. It's a big deal. Clinton Jones is coming here. Clinton's going to join us, Eugene's teammate, at 11.08 this morning. But from his home in Minnesota, Eugene Washington is on the other end of our line. Morning, Gene. Hello. Uh, good to have you with us this morning. Are you ready for football season? Do you always get excited when we get to early September and the pros and the colleges get going again? Oh yes, it's always it's always fun. Our Spartans are doing such. Uh, Coach D is doing such a great job, and the team is doing such a great job, and the staff and everything. So it's always fun to start a new season. Yeah, has your life changed in any way since you went into the College Football Hall of Fame, or are you back to business as usual? Well, I'm, ba- I'm back to business as usual. It's a little different. I'm retired now. I I worked at 3M, the 3M company, for 22 years after football, but. Uh, uh, it, it has changed. Uh, the, the recognition, uh, as you get older, is always nice to be remembered. When you look at the way these offenses are today, Gene, especially at the collegiate level with all these spreads and you know empty backfields and these receivers just piling up records for catches and receptions and touchdowns, do you ever wonder, and I played in this era with a talent I had because Gene was a tremendous uh, track star at the same time, do you wonder uh, how football might have been different for you? Because when you played, sure, in the NFL, they threw the ball to you. But Duffy's teams never had to throw the ball very much, even though you were a stellar receiver, if you see where I'm going with that yeah no i i understand that but i i have to also recognize we have to also recognize that uh we had some tremendous running backs you know we had the we had clinton jones and clint clinton was uh was fan, fantastic with baba pisa with uh we had others but uh but but definitely was primarily uh an off tackle type team and uh the most important thing we were able to win championships with his way and and i'm very fortunate that i was a part of that team absolutely you tell me about your daughter maya and her movie through the banks of the red seat or an upcoming documentary i don't have all the notes on this gene other than it says that it makes its debut this coming thursday what about all that yeah it's just a preview and uh uh, the MSU uh, Retirees Association, and also the MSU uh, Michigan State University Archives and Historical Collections. So they, they're sponsoring this uh, this event on Thursday over in Conrad Hall. And uh, so Clinton will be there. I'll be there. Uh, Ernie Pastor and some of the others uh, from our championship seasons uh, will be there. And just to talk about the uh, uh, the documentary, it's just a preview uh uh, and be able to, uh, to talk about that and to uh, 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 the, the migration of, 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 of football, integration of football, if you will, uh, back when we played. Uh, because when we played at Michigan State, see, we, uh, we were national champions, Big Ten champions, of course, but, but we could not play Southern teams because of all of the Southern teams at the time would not play against black integrated uh, teams. So we never had a chance to, to play Alabama and Mississippi and all of those schools down south because they couldn't play us because of segregation. Uh, so at, at any rate, uh, my, uh, uh, my daughter, she, she went to USC, and uh, she's a theater major, film, uh, film producer, and uh, so she wanted to put together this documentary, which I'm so, so very proud that she wanted to do that because – it, uh, it talks about the history, where Bubba came from, also where George Webster is from and, and Anderson, South Carolina, Ernie Pasteur is from Dufoot, North Carolina, um, Jimmy Ray. So it will cover a lot about our migration uh, from the South, uh, playing at Michigan State, how grateful and proud we are that Michigan State gave us all an opportunity uh, to play football and to be a part of the university. So you'll be here for the Oregon weekend then, because obviously if you're here Thursday, my sense is you'll stay and watch the game Saturday, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm coming back to, to, to celebrate with Clinton, because Clinton, uh, there is a, uh, 
a hall, that was a college football Hall of Fame salute, and he'll be given a, a, a nice, uh, uh, it's not a trophy, but a nice plaque at, just before kickoff uh, at, in the, at the Oregon game. So we're coming up. Uh, we'll be there the Thursday before that. So we're, I'm looking forward to joining Clinton on this. Uh, hopefully on the field before the kickoff. And the event at Conrad Hall next Thursday, Gene, is that open to the public? Yes, it's open to the public. It's free. Uh, there's an open house starting at 6, six o'clock, and there's a program where all of us will be with Maya and Jap Iblin also will be a moderator for the, uh, for the event. So there will be a program starting at 7, uh, an open house uh, at 6 o'clock, and uh, you'll have a chance to review a lot of the university archives, and, and there's a lot of historical collections there. Uh, perhaps uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of items from our, our time when we played back in the 60s. Let me ask you, when, when you were recruited, if you remember, was the recruiting pitch to you by either Duffy or one of the other assistants the fact that if you come to Michigan State, there's diversity at the university, will make you feel at home at all, or did that not become a part of your decision? No, no. The biggest decision, uh, Bubba Smith. We played together down in segregated uh, uh, Texas uh, in the same all-black league, if you will. And Bubba's father, uh, uh, Willie Ray Smith, uh, was 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 his coach. And Bubba and I became good friends, and we played against each other. And Bubba had decided to go to Michigan State. Made that decision. Uh, and he said that uh, he, he put a good word in for me. He said he would put a good word in for me to Duffy. And with that, that's how I got to know about Michigan State because Bubba, uh, he re Bubba really wanted to go to the University of Texas, but at that time all of the, the big schools, the Division I schools were closed to all black athletes. So, so, so Bubba made the decision. He told he and Coach Smith, his father, told uh, Duffy that you should really look at Gene Washington, which, which Duffy did. And uh, Dan Borster came down and, re and, and spent a day with me. And he spent a lot of time talking favorably about Michigan State and what the university had to offer. And he spoke, uh, he talked about the Big Ten and the fact that we played, we played Notre Dame every year and the fact that we played uh, – uh, Michigan, how big those games were. So, so the whole the whole idea about the segregation and the integration that that was never in the picture. It was, a, it was the most important thing is that we wanted to have a chance to play, but we could not play down south. And so, uh, so I had a chance to. The bottom line is I had a chance to play at Michigan State mainly because Bob and his father uh, put in a good word to Duffy for me. Yeah. You know, Gene, I was 16 years old then, 17 for the 66 team. I can almost remember those games as a kid here. I mean, I can remember almost every game, every play. I, I claim, first of all, I'm not sure there will ever be a greater staff of assistant coaches that Duffy assembled because so many of them went on to be prominent head coaches. And then all those Michigan State guys that were prominently chosen in the NFL draft, I don't think you'll ever see a school have that kind of penetration early in the NFL draft the way those two Michigan State teams did, if you agree with that. Oh, yes, I, I agree with that. And, and one, one of the things, I'm, I'm so proud, a couple of things. Uh, number one, uh, we had four guys that was drafted in the first round of the NASA Football League. And, of course, Bubba was number one, and, of course, Clinton was number two. And, and George Webster Mickey was number six. Uh, and I was number eight. And so I, I don't think no college. No. Never team happened. can compare with that to have four guys, and, and and now all four of us are now in the College Football Hall of Fame also, and uh, so that's that's uh, that's something we're proud of. But it was it, all of this is really really a team effort, and I'm so proud that I had an opportunity to play with some great some great guys back in uh, back in those years, and and uh, we'll, we'll we'll also have it at homecoming uh, for the Purdue game which is October the 2nd, we'll be celebrating our 50th anniversary uh, for the uh, Big Ten and also uh, the national championship for 65 in 1966. And, and Ernie Pasteur, who still lives in the area, is kind of taking the lead to make all of this happen. So we're looking forward to, to celebrating uh, 
of that 50 years. So it will be fun. All right, Gene, thank you so much. We're looking forward to seeing Maya's uh, documentary next Thursday evening, Conrad Hall, Free to the Public. Uh, and it's very well done on the diversity Michigan State exhibited through the years through football and how it has become such a big deal. It's always nice to talk to you. I look forward to seeing you next week, and thanks for your time this morning. Well, thank you, Tim. Talk to you soon. Eugene Washington, one of the best. Uh, those 50, I just can't believe it's been 50 years. Uh, you can take almost all those guys, frankly, and put them on the top 50 Michigan State players of all time. If you're from my generation, there was never, ever a collection of football players anywhere as good as those two teams were with that staff of assistant coaches, many of whom went on to become prominent head coaches elsewhere, and all of them led by Duffy Doherty. We're at the top of the arm. We're late, so we're going to get there. But that's Gene Washington. For Hall of Famers, we make an exception. Here are the news headlines, the sports headlines, and then our number two of the Thursday Stout on Sports. Stay with us.